I made the analogy like just because someone has gone to jail, if they went to jail when they get out of the j out of jail, are they not able to get out of the j out of jail? Or they if they went to jail when they usually like a beginning burgeoning st state, someone has gone to jail. <laughs> Last week, American activist Jake Paul made a very important video about an extremely serious topic. And I hate I fucking hate cyberbullies. Like I hate it. It's the worst thing in the world. He plans to confront the notorious internet cyberbully Cody Ko who has been online. viciously harassing well, small children online for years. Kids, kids, bro. Kids. To prove these claims, Jake Paul shows multiple videos of Cody Ko making fun of him. His fan base, he's dubbed them Jake Paulers. Creative. He came out with a song. And then comes the part where he really crosses the line. He decides to start making fun of the other Jake Paul. He's uh, dressed up as a minion. I don't know who the f made that call. Who signed off on that? And just like that, Jake Paul set out to end Cody Ko. Not just for himself, but for the many people whom he has affected. But like, I do want to get a point across that like, that Cody, you like, you are a piece of That's true. I've heard stories of like, girls, again, crying and like, so not only has Cody bullied small children, he's also made fun of Jake Paul, Jake Paul 2, and now these definitely real girls that were crying from his videos. And now comes the confrontation part, where Mr. Paul thoroughly explains his position and attempts to start a meaningful dialogue. You're a kid. Which kids, bro? I don't like that. Which kids? I don't like cyber bullies, and you're a cyber bully. Now, it is very difficult to confront such a violent person, but Jake handles it perfectly here. Notice how he ignores Cody's initial question, and then keeps pointing at him with a limp arm, saying the same thing over and over again. And you're a cyber bully. I'm sorry, man. Hey. I'm sorry for bullying you. And of course, Cody can't even take this seriously. He's so used to being a bully. I mean, how can you not take this situation seriously? Look at this. Hey, had a great time at your party last week. Um... Wait, I, I don't really know what's going on here. They're talking about a party now. Or, is that it? Is Jake, Fall, Jake Paul's confrontation over? They're going to shake hands now? Where's Jake Paul too? Wait a minute. Now he's saying hi to people there? Uh, I have no idea what this turned into. Cody's just kind of standing back there and now they're patting each other. What if... What is ha what is this? What happened to the whole cyberbullying confrontation thing? He walked in, called him a cyberbully like three times, and then and then uh, and then afterward, Jake says all the stuff that he could have said upstairs to Cody, but instead he didn't, and then starts saying a bunch of shit about having a new perspective or starting new dialogues or something. I, I don't know. We can actually make a difference, and he could be a little bit more thoughtful. And I can be maybe a little bit more understanding at yeah. to like comedians. He didn't really seem like he was trying to budge. Like you were, you were pretty understanding, you know. And you were trying to like find like a new perspective. And I don't think he was really open to that. No, yeah. He was just kind of deflecting the whole time. Yeah. What? What? I don't like that. Which kids? I don't like cyber bullies, and you're a cyber bully. And then to top it all off, and to prove that cyber bullying is bad, Jake Paul reviews the footage while cyber bullying Cody. Like he's just like so like into himself and like we all have different lines and like maybe he's just a sociopath or like something like i don't know like i don't want to talk about mental health but like maybe he has like a mental health health issue where he doesn't have empathy for other people i think he said like about 15 to 30 times there and that kind of muddies up the coherency of it but the point he was trying to make is that you're sociopathic if you make videos about other people, but if you film a dead body in a forest to get views and make money, then that's fine, as long as you apologize to the internet for it. And I know that was Jake Paul too, not Jake Paul, so you can't really blame him for it, but they did just start a channel together after all this. So did Jake Paul end cyberbullying? Well, no, not exactly, but he did upload a video onto YouTube that a lot of people watched. And while it may be completely pointless and have no actual value to it, it exists, just like Jake Paul exists. And that's just something we're all going to have to live with.